little side project here. Um, I had one of my chainsaws stolen over winter. It was a steel 026. Um, and I was looking for a replacement for it. Haven't found one yet, but I found this nice little Husky. This is a Husky 50. Um, these are, I think were called the Rancher 50 originally. And they had white tops on them. I actually really like the gray top saws. I've had really good luck with them in the past. Um, I'm, I'm therefore preferential to them. Um, this one basically purchased it, um, not very much, um, like hundred bucks Canadian, which is next to nothing. And, uh, I'm just going through cleaning it up. And, uh, so I'm just going to show you a few things that I do here. So when I pulled this cover off, first thing was the pull cord I know was detached from this. Um, and actually the knot had just come undone. So I just redid the knot. Um, it wasn't broken. It just had come undone. Um, the guy I bought it off us said he was an arborist, had it serviced regularly. It does kind of look like it's been serviced regularly. Um, of course, that cover is now nice and spick and span clean because I just cleaned it, but it did just look like this a second ago. So I'm going to go through the whole saw and clean it. I'll do a compression test on it. If I need to, I will run a new cylinder into this thing. Um, I've done a few saws so before, so it's actually not very hard to do that. Um, as long as the uh, crank seal isn't gone. They're super easy to rebuild. Um, if the crank seal is gone, I'll still rebuild it because it's a worthwhile little saw. These things are great. Um, I really like them. Um, so I'll go through right now, clean it all up, and show you some of the process as I go along. And we'll see if she runs. So generally what I'm doing here I'll try to clean off as much as I can just with a just with a cloth but if it's not coming off I will either use brake clean which I'm actually fresh out of non-chlorinated brake clean um, or I will use a little bit of Varsol which is what I'm using right now Varsol and a soft bristle, bristle brush and uh, that works great to get into all the gaps and then I'll get outside the shop and I'll blow it off with air to get the final clean on I suppose I should show you guys the saw before I finish cleaning all this up so you kind of get some reference. But, I have to wait a second. A little scraper. Sometimes you just need to break out something to scrape it. done this piece sometimes you get pieces where I've just plastered on there Now these saws were actually built at a pretty good plastic. Um, the plastics that are used on these are actually pretty good. I think this is an 81. Yeah, 81.4057. Yeah, I think it's an 81. Although I thought Grey Tops came after 85. I'll have to look that up. I'll have to check the serial number later on against what year this is. Pretty sure it was the last, the first two digits were the year, which this would make with this one an 81. Which I thought that was white top territory, but maybe I'm mistaken. Or maybe the top's been replaced. I don't know. There we go. That's nice and shiny and clean. Brand, brand new. Brand spanking new. There we go. Happy, happy, happy boy. Hap, 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 hit boy. There we go. Nice and dirty. Um, I'll just pick up the saw real quick so you guys can actually see how dirty or clean it is, depending on your opinion of how the saw should be sitting. So, it's not too bad. Uh oh Well, it's just saw blade. It's not too bad, but it does need a decent clean. A lot of stuff built up in here. So, uh, get, I'll get to it. Time lapse.
All right, now, isn't this my luck? Now, the chain and bar on this thing are pretty opened up. Um, as you can see, there's no paint left on this bar. The chain looks like it's been overheated a few times. Um, it doesn't look... Oh, yeah, it's getting close to its wear markers there. So, I mean, I'm going to replace the chain and the bar. And oddly enough, I actually had a chain and a bar that would fit this. And I don't know where I put it. It was hanging on a wall over there. And now I don't know where it is. But I'll just give you guys a quick look at this. Um, she's come out quite nicely from what she was. Um, I'm going to give her some wipe downs here. Still got to wipe her down a few places, but way cleaner looking than it was before. And uh, still got to clean up the top cover, but I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, time to test here in a moment. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're going to give her a shot. I've got the... Um... Oh, shit, actually. Uh... i got to tighten up the spark plug. I did have that off, and I'm not certain. Let me snug that back up yet. So, un momento. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm uh, not going to have a chain on it for this because uh, it was really loose and worn out, and I don't want to take that risk. Um, but here we go. We're going to give her a shot. See if we can get her to, to bump over. Make sure the stop button works. Yeah, we're good there. Yeah, we're good there. How about that? No joke. That was first pull. <laughs> She's got some compression, which is good. That needs a bit of work. Oh, God. So carb definitely needs some tuning because uh, that was bogging down. Maybe the... Uh, it's a little dirty, clogged up, but we'll pull that off, clean it up, and there we go. And don't worry about the smoke. That's just all that uh, solvent burning off. Then I'm pretty happy about that. Plenty of compression and just needs a bit of a carb clean in tune. That's a happy $100 right there. Anyway, that's, uh, that's what I got for you today for Farm Shop Projects. I'll see you again.